Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks. We are once again playing the Transport Fever 2. Yes, and you are watching the Ground Forks ship Max Bamble that we have introduced in the previous episode. And as you can tell, it's carrying passengers. Yes. Look at that. Going by the shipyard and on to its merry destinations. Let's see if it will be picking up some passengers as well. Yes, uh, to be perfectly honest, I never expected this would work. I never expected that the passenger line could be actually, you know, ferrying passengers. Yes. Oh, and look, plenty of people coming there as well. Beautiful. Look at that, how they're just nicely, you know, strolling and everything. There we go, Ventura Port. Show me the bling. Sixty-six thousand. Not too shabby. So, eleven passengers in the other way. So I cannot really say if if it's still profitable. Well, barely. But um, yeah, I think the costs will eat me alive. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Let's see what we can improve in the today's episode. And actually, I was thinking kind of along the lines, here we have a pretty good distribution. This production is on par. We are shipping 42% out. And I was somehow thinking if I could rank up my distributions to Fremont and also somehow sneak the... Um, the train lines going to Denton and Fremont somehow. Because look, the passengers are nicely... Let's put, put in the pause there, just a second, Tiger. So, yes, uh, and I would eventually want to have Denton, Fremont and then connect them to Charleston. However, I might be a little bit strapped for cash to pass our financial situation. Ooh. Yikes. Uh, yes. Okay. Change of subject. Today's episode will be all about modernization. And when I think modernization, I think extending the train line down to Olathe, I think. How's the passenger layer looking there? Transport going here. We're at 25, so it's not too bad. Rancho Cucamonga, then we have San Bernardino upwards and Sacramento, Dayton and onwards. So we do have a potential for the train line here. So going Charleston, Olathe, Rancho Cucamonga and then further up San Bernardino and upwards. It's a potential for a new main line. I like it. Right. So that means we have to figure a way how Olathe would be fitting into the picture. Now, that being said, residential is here. And the train is coming from this end. Oh boy. I was thinking if I could pitch in the train station over here here in Charleston. Wouldn't that be a hoot? That would actually be quite nice, but how do you pitch in a train station over a cross residential area? That would cost me an arm and a leg, and I mean, nobody would like this. So, I'd have to set, you know, satisfy my megalomaniac appetite by going this way onwards yeah okay let's just see what can we do in terms of contour lines where are my contour lines layer okay there we go here it would be going uphill so we have to turn rather sharp left here all right train enough talking let's go building train tracks yes 
there we go we're gonna go a little bit this way construction very much is possible it's just costly as hell too much slope come on i know you can do it too much slope what about if i go pull a like something like this come on i saw it i had it come on too much slope I assure you construction very much is possible there we go 133,000 because this would be oh hideous what are they thinking so if we go like this rather see 78,000 now we're talking my price range and I just hope that there will be a place to actually put these tracks. Right, let's go with this. It's not too hideous. Except I'm gonna bulldoze this part of the road, it looks hideous. Now, uh, trying to smooth it. Smooth it. Now, road. Why in the hell did I remove it in the first place? because I just didn't lo like the looks of it, obviously. Now, you go in here, contour lines layer. You will be having to pass through somebody's backyard for this. I can imagine people will not be thrilled about this. Ooh, yikes. Looks like a very posh and pricey area to go through, apparently. What can I do? 150. Ooh. Well. Hmm. What if I just if I just stretch the line a little bit? So forget about this. Yes. And if my train line just continued uh, this way why construction possible because of this teeny bitty road i assure you it very much is possible now get out of my way there we go we're at 11 grand and then i should probably go something like this way and somehow cut it over here one way or another let's see there we go come on come on oh edit 39,000 C, I knew it was doable. The fact it's gonna be hideous doesn't matter. Okay, uh, first things first, Sherlock. Why need this bit of a road? I thought so. Now, there we go. So if I pick it like this. It will work nicely. Thank you. Now we have to figure out a way how to weasel our way to Olathe. And I'm thinking somewhere here, to be perfectly honest with you. So let's see. Buildings. We have a little bit cash into the account more. I don't think we can borrow much more though. If we don't manage to squeeze that on that budget, then we're in some for some serious trouble. Now, road-wise, I'm planning a... S yeah, I'm full-on street planner now, you know. So, we'll do like this. We'll do like a very posh, trendy street. Something like this. No, no, I don't want the building to be removed. Thank you. You go like this. There we go, 61,000. And that would be for the middle street, speed limit 40, large street. Let's not go carried away, shall we? So, a train station just on the uphill slope, because that's what we do, apparently. Or... But I somehow... Where am I going? This way. So if I could turn it and then... Oh, it's going to be meandering too much. 
but then again yeah it's hill down uphill no what about this way if i turn it here meander it this way put the station on this end somewhere i could have it forking towards fremont and denton oh i didn't think about that Whew. now that's a sixty thousand down the drain all right so i curve it gently something like there we go where could we plonk a station here let's first discuss practical stuff station here would be actually quite nice how's the traffic traveling agents 20 20 20 and if i plonk it somewhere here i think it would be perfect okay i'm game now buildings 160 meters do we really go with 160 meters i thought that we were going with something more modest yeah 80 meters didn't we say 80 meters yes we did okay fair enough then we go with 80 meter station somewhere here right and we'll have to clip the town a little bit i'm sorry oopsie now something along these lines yes we'll have a lot more cash later on so right now i think it pays dividends to be modest am i happy with this layout i think so well, too late now, I'm already committed. Tracks. So I have to now find a way how to nicely meander it that way. Oh, hideous. Now too much, too much. How about this way? We do it this way, yes. We do it this way it'll be a little bit up and down the hill but what can i do i'm not exactly a rockefeller you know Twenty-three thousand, and it's level perfect and then we just have to connect it here 180 grand are you sick why oh of this uphill i mean you've got to be kidding me come on tell me that ain't true so tell you what if i disconnect you main connection shall be interrupted i'm aware of that i'm gonna risk it thank you very much Main connection is not really that great anyway. Now, track. You go nicely and connect this way. There we go. Cool. Now, street-wise, this street shall be doing a rather hard on curve with a crossing right about here which will not be impacting the train a great deal followed by a nice curvy down slope here nope what about you going up slope this way chief see i knew you could you could be a lot more reasonable than the proposed 140,000. I think we have resolved successfully that issue. Although the train station being up there on the hill really doesn't sound like something that I would do. Yeah, well, doesn't matter. Buildings. 
bus tram station, yes. I'm actually thinking on something like this while we have the room for it. Costs 56,000. I think those two would collide. However, do we have any road connections? We don't. What's the catchment area here? I'd say that's pretty good for the time being. I think we're have to, gonna have to live with this. So, that pretty much means in the future we should double track this area and make this a double track station as well. At least this area should be double tracked, I feel like. You know, all the way here. And maybe if we take down this depot, we might have, or we might not have enough to double track this. Tell you what we're gonna do. We take the line and say, okay, new line, which is belonging to Shahzed, okay. We're going all the way to Charleston. And after Charleston, we're gonna remove the cedar, but we'll continue after Charleston. We're gonna add Olathe, followed by Charleston, and then followed by Cedar. Just different uh, platform, please. You're not gonna go via platform two, you're gonna go via platform one. Thank you, which makes perfect sense. All right. So if I just double track this station, it will be actually quite easy for them to pass. So I think I'm gonna do like this, yes. Configure, I'm gonna add another track here, another track here another platform, passenger platform, there we go, uh, and miscellaneous, I'm actually go, gonna add an underpass here and an underpass here, followed by a nice roofing all together, good, then we go to tracks and then I finish editing this and I will add the tracks here so that it basically just connect here we go that gives us a nice passing segment for our trains to pass here now we have to edit the line and here that in Charleston on the way back you'll have to take the second platform sorry come on okay wait Charleston here we're gonna take the other one no it doesn't want to collaborate with me so Charleston one or two you know what we start at Cedar Center. That what pretty much is given. Yes, we start at Cedar Center, followed by Cedar, and that would be platform two. Yes. Then we go to Charleston and we take platform two. Fine. Then we go to Olathe, the only platform we've got, followed by another stop at Charleston. This time, not platform two, but platform one, thank you. Followed by stop at Cedar, not platform two, but platform one. Thank you very much, and I think that's it. Wonderful. Time to actually hit the music. Now, let's see how will the trains go. This one will be chugging along slowly. What's your problem there, Chief? This one is waiting for you. Did I just reverse him a little bit? Uh, 
Um, okay, what's your problem here on the line? So, how about signal? Yeah, if I put another signal here, does that help you in any sort of capacity? No, it does not. Okay, this is weird. Sorry about that. Now. You go back. Because these passengers are going nowhere and here we have some passengers. Okay, you go back then. I knew I should have double tracked that. This way I'm only creating queues. And you sunshine, you will go back over there. This should, show, should hopefully help to resolve the problem. Actually, I have a shout out to one of my users, Captain Clyde, user Clyde Branchard, who actually wanted me to rename a train after him, so why not? Capt Clyde. Here you go, Captain Clyde, you have your own very own personal train that I hopefully will be bringing in the cache. And um, I really hope it will be bringing me a cash because I used a better portion of the freaking episode to actually make it happen. But let's enjoy a little bit of our ride along here. There's a beautiful sloped uh, underpass going here. And let's see. How do we go? We go upwards. Climbing up just to crest that hill and then we will be turning left and down onwards to Olathe. Okay, a little bit too smoky for my view purposes, but let's see. There we go. Oh, now I understand why you needed that hill. Yeah, we do have a little bit of stoppage in the traffic. Sorry, folks, but look at that. We have a healthy portion of passengers in Olathe waiting to ride our train. There we go. I'm pretty sure the losses will be quickly negated. Yes, by Captain Clyde over here. Let's see how it looks on the tracks. As you know, I'm a sucker for a good ride along and we, since we spent a better portion of actually building this track, so might as well enjoy it anyway. We also a little bit like, you know, roller coaster or magic mountain or something. We are heading for Charleston and I'm really interested to see if... Oh, look at it. This is a beauty. This was definitely a steep hill and look at that all that passengers waiting to be picked up oh and look there's another train coming choo choo you beautiful beastie oh we have a lot of passengers to pick up all right we dump some and we pick up a total of 56 ladies and gentlemen that's just beautiful And the necessary turkeys, of course, they come in. I'm just curious as to how much will a full load net me. So I'm actually very inclined to let this run its merry course all the way up to the cedar. Beautiful.
looks pretty nice. And then you will be climbing a little bit uphill, I'm afraid. Come on, you can do it. You have some acceleration from the previous go. And here we go. One hundred thousand large. That's nice. And we have to remember it's not a full load. So yeah, this line has been losing me money a little bit, but I think it will more than make up for it once the traffic becomes a regular one. Where's the other train? The other train went here. And how much loaded is it? 11. Not bad. I think it will be Charleston who will be pulling the most of the weight here in this uh, little escapade. All right. Definitely. Well, I guess in that case, I'll have to actually kick guys cut the episode a little bit short here. I'm going to go back to this train and we'll have to wrap it up for the episode. So as always, you know, a like on the video would be super appreciated. Would help me out a ton and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off.